In this video, I will show you how to add new row in MySQL database for Elementor form submission automatically. So what will happen? Every time a form response is received in Elementor forms, those form responses will be added to MySQL database table automatically without doing anything manually. And the best part is any non-technical person can automate this process very easily. So want to sync your form submission data with MySQL? Then come with me and I will show you everything step by step so this is a basic contact form i have created using elementor forms and these are the tables of my sql database and in order to sync the form responses with my sql i'll have to integrate elementor forms and my sql with the help of pably connect which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software i am an existing user so here you can notice i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pably connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now after login and reaching out to the dashboard firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation i have directly pasted the name as when form is submitted add form data to my sql okay simply click on create button and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so basically you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation in this trigger and the action bit okay so understand with an example let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay and now according to our use case whenever any new form submission is received in elemental forms application then automatically add this form data in my sql database application okay so this is how i have selected both the applications in the trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i'm going to connect both the applications one by one with the pably connect okay so let us first connected elementor forms with pably connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger event that is new form submission okay so yes i want that whenever any new form submission is done in elementor this automation should trigger okay so that is why i've selected the same and as soon as i have selected the trigger event it has has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so you will have to follow these instructions carefully one by one okay so simply copy this webhook url go back to the elementor form and firstly edit this form with elementor only and then we are going to paste the same webhook url in this particular form okay so firstly i'll find the webhook option where i can paste this url okay so here firstly i'll make sure that on my elementor page i will select this form and once the form is selected all right i think the form has not selected yet all right it is selected now now i will have to find the option of action after submit okay after the submission what action should be performed okay so here i would like to send the data to webhook url so i have already selected webhook as action and here we have the webhook option okay so firstly i am going to delete this existing url and then i will be pasting this webhook url here in this elementor form and now i am clicking on update and this is how the webhook url will be added to my elementor form okay which means every time the form submission is received the data will be sent to webhook url and this webhook url has been provided via public connect so basically the form submission data will be received in public connect okay now you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response which means log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means uh, making of a new form submission in elementor forms okay so i am going to preview this form in front of you and will make a dummy submission okay again 
I will be using some dummy data only and you will see as soon as the form submission was made the details of that form will be captured via Pabli Connect or write demo at the rate pablitudes.com I am adding this random email address let me also add a, a dummy phone number of 10 digit okay so I have added all the data clicking on this submit button and as soon as the submission is made here you can notice your submission was successful you will notice that the response will be received and here you can notice the response is already received okay so let me show you the details uh, one by one so here we have the form name as contact form we also have the form id the last name the same first name the email address and contact information okay so because i have added only three to four fields in my form so that is why i have this data only this much data only again it is up to you how much data you would like to collect via your form you can add as many as fields as you want as per your requirement okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our element of form and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time any person will submit this form the details of that person will be received via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done moving further and my use case was to update the form submission data in my sql database application so the application is already selected as an action event as an action application and now i will be selecting the action event okay so because i want to insert a row and then in that new row i will update the data okay so i have selected the same and just like we have connected elementor forms and pabli connect now i am going to connect my sql with the pabli connect okay so simply click on this add a new connection and then you will have to provide the database username database password the host database and the port okay so basically you will have to provide the access of your my sql database okay i have provided this access multiple times so i am going to reuse that Access. basically I'm going with the existing connection okay just in case if you also want to go with the existing connection you can do the same uh, but make sure that you provide the access at least in the first time after that you can also go with the existing connection okay so here you can notice we are connected and because we are connected whatever the tables I have created inside my MySQL database have started visible here okay let me show you the same so this is my my SQL database okay here I have form submissions payment disputes stripe refund customers and task in asana these four tables and the four tables are visible here okay so I would like to update the data in this form submission table okay so let me open the same table here in my MySQL database also all right so currently this table has no data you can notice ID first name last name email mobile number city product price and product name well I think city product price and product name these columns are extra okay so how about i first delete these extra columns and then i'll come back so here you can notice in this form submissions table i have deleted those extra columns okay now you can notice that i have id first name last name email phone number one two three four five columns in total and because i have selected this specific table here the same columns which i have added in my table are visible here as fees okay you can notice this id the first name last name email mobile number and this city okay i'll have to first refresh I'll have to click on this refresh fields and then you will notice that the data will be updated here okay so you can notice that those extra fields has been removed okay so from where I'm going to provide the data in these fields remember we have just captured the data from our previous step and the interesting thing is I don't need to manually copy the above data and paste below okay I am going to map this data okay mapping is very simple simply click on this field 
mail and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down now i am going to map this data okay and in the same way i am going to map the data in other fields also okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time yes with every new form submission data these existing values will be replaced automatically so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay just in case if i will provide any data manually that data will remain same for every form submission okay so i have provided all the details and i am leaving this particular field blank and you will notice that automation will generate it automatically okay so how about i click on this button save and send test request and wait for the response to receive here and if the response is received here you can notice that the status is success response is received which means the data in my my sql database table has been updated okay i'll have to first to refresh this table and here you can notice the id is here the first name is here the last name is here the same email address is here and even the same phone number is here okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our automation is working absolutely fine so now onwards what will happen every time any new form submission is received via elementor forms the form submission data will be added automatically to my sql database table and once you will set this automation inside pamdi connect after that you do not have to do anything manually simply set this automation inside pamdi connect just once after that sit back and relax because pamdi connect will take care of all the task in the back end okay just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own pamdi connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the pamdi connect and then you you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video